All right, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Tower Tale. It's a dungeon hack. It uh, I don't even know how to describe this. Because it's not really a dungeon crawler, because it's a side scroller, but it's not really a platformer. It's kind of more hack and slash, but you only hack and slash a couple of things. He also plays like four different characters. Uh, there's. Here, let's just get into it. Hi. Boss Rush Free Mode. Arcade Mode. Play the tower without the tail? Nope. Four different stories. Save slot. So we can be Lionel Blue Heart, basic, uh, basic, yeah, basic knight type dot guy. Wow, I can't word. I any game lightning round is destroying my brain. Anyway, uh, so we got a, a knight, an archer, uh, uh, there's no question here. I mean, okay, no, there are actually some questions here. Oh, hi. So you can play the story story in any order you want, but the chronological order of the story is Lionel slash Fangel, so either of these two. And then Lord Snicklefritz, what the hell? And then Dark Echo. Oh. See, my problem is, like, normally I go for the bunny mage just for the sake of having a bunny mage, but I really like absolutely unnecessarily, like, edgy characters for no good reason. And it's actually really hard to decide, because, yeah, I could go with the chronological order, which doesn't seem like a bad idea. Or we could just dive straight in on the bunny, or we could do Dark dark Echo. Uh, but you know what? I think we're just gonna go go with this, and if it turns out that I like this game, then I'll go back and play it in... in, uh... If I like this game enough to do a series on it, then we'll go back and play as Lionel, but I, I think we're going to play as original character, do not, do not bunny. Heroic. Why not? Yeah, this is the indie game lightning round. Uh, so, I guess to introduce that? Oh, hi. Maybe we should let the game introduce itself. But yeah, I'm doing the indie game lightning round, so I'm just picking up random indie games that have landed in my inbox and playing them and trying them out. Anyway, long ago a strange tower appeared in the land. No one knows where it came from or how it came to be, but within its walls lies a great secret. Whoever conquers all the floors and gets to the top will gain something of an infinite value. The ability to change one's fate. And so it was believed. Many have tried to challenge it. But nobody has ever lived to tell their tale, because they kind of sucked. For each floor hosts its own guardian. The most ruthless and powerful of all the monsters. With them, the tower had remained untouched for thousands of years. Until one day... Four souls have come to challenge their fate. Each bear their own reasons and wishes. But with only one person that could be granted a wish. Who will rise to the top and claim the ultimate prize? How far will they go? Will they sacrifice or take it all? This is a story about their tragic fates. A story that you will know. I don't know if there's more narration. Okay, I think we're good. I'm a little confused. So, you climb the tower to change your fate, but everybody dies. So, like, I, I'd be honest... Honestly, if a tower plunked down like 20 miles away and it's like, hey, reach the top of this ultra hard tower. Uh. Here lies four great rabbit mages that protect the realm. I, one of those guys does not match the others. None of them really match the tonality of the story. 
be like, do I press A? Oh, I do have to press A here. Mary Jane, the Mage of the West, master of the arcane spells. Also girlfriend of Spider Bunny. Viserys the Dark, the Void Mage of the South. He's pointlessly edgy. He's actually really nice. Lord Snicklefritz, master of the elements and protector of the East. Does not belong here in the slightest. And Zola the Mighty, tyrant of the North, user of mighty magic and strongest of them all. We don't think he knows magic, he just punches people and we've just accepted it. Now, let's get down to business. I have called you here because we have reports that a certain place has been building up malice. It's been reported to be a tower-like structure that's located in the center of the continent. So what of it? This do that doesn't concern us. It's out of our jurisdiction. I don't want to waste any resources on this nonsense. Now, now, Hissy, Zochi called us here because it might be an emergency. Stop calling me by that name, Mary Jane. Yeah, but it sounds so cute. What do you think, Snicky? Uh... One of us should at least go and check out and investigate it. We may be looking at something potentially dangerous that's brewing up there. Nonsense. This probably isn't anything relevant to us anyway. I suggest we leave it as it is. I have a lot more pressing matters that I need to attend to. Sorry, is. Master Miracle has given us the task to protect this realm. Have you forgotten your oath? We four have swor sworn the unending pact. We swore to protect this realm until she returns, or we die of old age, which is like two years from now. Fritz is right. We c cannot ignore a potential threat. One of us has to go. Any volunteers? Oh, I want to go. But famine's hit the west. People are still hungry. I'm sorry, Zochi. Well, I can't go either. There's war brewing up in the north. I need to get back there. A huge battle is about to begin. Well, I already told you I can't go. So why not let Fritz handle it? I can't be bothered right now. Huh. Yeah. I believe I can go. Schedule's wide open. There's nothing to the east anyway. I care enough about what's what is to happen to our realm. I'll leave after I've finished my preparations. Yay! Way to go, Snicky. There you go. Well, that settles it then. Fritz, your mission will be to infiltrate the tower and find the source of malice. Do preventative measures if you must. We cannot let that malice go unchecked. All right, I'll do my best. That settles it then. That concludes this week's roundtable meeting. You're all dismissed. <laughs> this is goofy nonsense. Okay, left, right. Crouch, jump, dodge. That's one heck of a dodge. Interact, attack, attack two. Oh. <laughs> Bubble. Huh. Oh, I can also charge this up. But... <laughs> Okay, these are a little bit more tremendous. So, there's a lot of these, apparently. Oh, we have a healing spell. Well, that's nice. That kind of is a nice change. I still can't use Y, so I'm assuming that's not something I can work with. Anyway, exit tutorial. Let's see, why does the boulder fall in him? I, I think he just has a death wish. Woo! I finally arrived! I can see the tower nearby. Huh. So, what they've been saying is right. I sense a faint sign of malice surrounding this area. I need to investigate more on this and find out the source. Time to go. 
We... Ah. I take it that you're the one guarding this area. I do not wish to hurt you. But I need to get to that tower. May I please have passage here? No. No. Seems like I have no other choice then. I'm sorry, friend. Rampant destruction is your future. Heroic Giga Frostwolf. Battle start. Okay. Ow. Well. This is how I die. I'm attempting... I'm attempting to die less, but, uh... This kind of sucks. At least I've got a healing spell. I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to fight this. But, in the off chance that I am actually supposed to beat this guy... I should probably take it semi-seriously. I think I am supposed to beat it, actually. Well. Shouldn't bother with that at all. And... Back to just healing myself repeatedly. Okay. Gotta remember, this game is not much of an action com- Well, it is an action combat thing, but it is. Timing is hard. Okay. Now I know his patterns, he's chump change. Ow. Well, it's kind of- yeah, it's on fire. Uh, let's see. Right, this is magic. Oop. I will heal. Flawless victory. It didn't look like the, uh... Okay, so it looks like that's pretty effective. Ish. He is not stunlocked by anything, though. Ice. Well, that gets him. I'm sorry. There's more to this, apparently. Okay. So, fully charged fire spell explodes him and just hits him from wherever. So, we're good. I should probably wait for my, my bits to charge back up. Because, yeah, I'm out of juice. Now, is he gonna start just like charging me? He is. Big boom. We. I was expecting this to be a little bit easier from the outset, but no, it just immediately chucks you into the fight. Maybe that was actually supposed to be, like, really hard, or... I don't really know. Oh, I should have healed myself back up. Well, I succeeded. But yeah, for how cute that was, that, that thing hit her... That, that thing hits hard. Huh. Wow, how interesting. Observing it nearby, it seems like the structure is unique. I've never seen anything like this before. Maybe it's because we build all our buildings underground. Anyway, it seems distant, as if it's out of this time. Is this one of those ancient structures found in the old archives? I've heard there are those scattered all around the world. If that's the case, then it's possible I may uncover some secrets of the old world. 
There's someone there. Maybe I should ask him about this place. Oh, it's a sentient body! Oh god, it's getting close to me! Uh, maybe I can sell things to it and it'll go away! Oh ho ho! Another traveler! What a busy day we have here today! Hello there! Oh ho ho! Name's Gil! I collect relics around this area! What brings you to this place? I'm Lord Snicklefritz. I'm from the Sect of Colors. I'm here to investigate this area. A rabbit folk, eh? I never thought I'd see one of you here. I bet you taste good. You're one happy fella, ain't you? I like you. But anyway, down to business. I came here because we sense something wrong is going on in the area. We figured that this tower might be the source. Have you noticed anything weird happening here lately? You mean apart from the talking rabbit talking to me? No, oh, no, it's pretty normal. Just people going to the tower, die over and over again, and then uh, that's pretty much life. Anyway, nothing of the sort. It's just the same old day after day. I've been here for a while. I've seen a lot of travelers come and go. Most of the ones who go in never come back. It seems that they're drawn to this place for some reason. Huh, that is indeed strange. Maybe it's because the tower's legend. What legend? What? I haven't heard. They say this tower is created by an ancient being. Inside you'll face the most dangerous of monsters. They're called guardians. They say whatever conquer whoever conquers the floors would be granted a wish of anything they desire. Oh, the mere thought of it is glorious. I see. Wish of anything they desire, huh? Sounds too good to be true if you ask me. Well, can't be helped. Some crazy times we live in. Wars destroying land, famine plaguing the countryside, whole cities burning to the ground, merchants standing outside towers, guilting people into going into the tower to sacrifice themselves, maybe for the greater good. You know how it is. Maybe some folks just want something to believe in, don't you think? Well, thanks for the chat, Gil. Are you perhaps entering inside? Yeah. I need to know what's going on in this place. I see. Well, wish you the best of luck then, and if not, dibs on your stuff. I thank you, my friend. Safe travels. Oh! I'm going to rob that hat. It'll be mine. I might actually get a shirt that fits. Maybe. Okay. Um, wow. This is pretty gross. Astonishing. From the inside, it looks like a whole new, different world. How is this possible? It takes a lot of magic to do something like this, compressing a large area into what seems like the floor of a tower. Just who in the world created this place? Water. I'm sorry, what the hell? Who dares enter my domain? Are you perhaps one of the guardians of this tower? Can you tell me more about this place? I am the king of filth. And this is my domain. I do not answer to such lower beings as yourself. Now prepare to die. Wait, I just want to more know more about this tower. Who's in charge here? I'm the one in charge here. I'm not from this park. You will be something. Uh, all the gu guardians this hostile. Heroic slime king. Okay, so when I get hit by those, I am impaired. We should probably heal up before... Uh, 
Oh. Okay. But this is slightly different. Well, I'm just gonna... Since I don't actually actively have to hit him, I'm just gonna repeatedly bomb the sucker. Whoops, that didn't work. Oh, it kinda did. I didn't take a hit. And then I should probably just sit around dodging for a while. Looks like he's getting a little bit more aggressive as he's pissed off. Unfortunately, there's some hella downtime here. Wait, hold up. Can I just duck these? I can. I can and I can. Ow. So, the real answer is... I can duck them. But I can't cast spells... Well, I'm ducking them out. Let's see. Gotta watch that a little bit. Okay, ow. Double ow. It's not that they actually hurt that much. It's just inconvenient. And there we go. Got your other spells. I already have. <laughs> they weren't nearly as good. Oh, that was a heck of a lot easier than the last time. And he's dead. So, is there no progression system in this game? It's just a story-based, uh, boss rush. Huh. In the end, I couldn't get any information from him. But Gil wasn't kidding. These guardians are tough to beat. This tower is filled with them. I still have a long way to go. It seems I've cleared the first floor. Maybe there's more of a progression system. Huh? What the? What in the world's happening? So, one of you has finally come. I've been expecting you, green mage. Welcome to the tower. Fight your way up and I shall grant you any wish that you desire. All your questions will be answered. I shall await you... Uh, I shall await for you at the top. <laughs> There it is. I've never sensed, uh, never felt such malice before. But that's how it is. So the malice might be coming from the top of this tower. I need to see what's up there. There was the one guy that sold relics. Maybe there's a progression system. We just got to keep going a little bit further in. I don't really know. I'm a big f fan of interesting progression systems in games. And when they don't have it, I get sad. I can't believe it. I've never quite seen anything... I've never seen anything quite like this. Each floor of this tower holds a different place in space and time. Just what kind of magic is used for this? Is it ancient magic? But it is believed to have been lost lo a long time ago. I need to find out more about this place. Hey, hey, hey! What do we have here? Aren't you a little cute? Uh, aren't you a cute little thing? What's your name? I'm Lord Snickle Fritz. Snickle what? Eh, it's too long to remember. Uh, that's too long. Can't remember. I'll just call you Little Bud, Little Bud. I don't mind. Can I ask you something? Eh, sure, why not? I'm bored anyway. Got time to kill before I smash you into bits. <laughs> uh, tell me, what are you exactly? How'd you end up in this place? Me? Uh, let's just say I'm the one who guards this place. And what exactly are you guarding? I don't know. I, I can't remember. It was a long time ago. What do you remember then? 
All I know is I can't allow you to pass. Sorry, little bud. Why not? I don't know. It's just something inside me that's telling me to. I see. Thank you for answering. Come on now. Let's do this. I'm already itching for a fight. My strategies are two dimensional at best. My answer is bait the Minotaur, warp to the other side of the Minotaur, blast him with fire without looking at him. I mean, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Just set it on fire some more. What the? That didn't work. Maybe I didn't have the last one. Anyway. Oh, yeah, you gotta kill him three times now. Well. Well, this got hairier. Ow. Dang it. Well. It works great against the first round, and then the blocks more or less just stunlock me out of my usual strategies. Uh, which is kind of rough. But that's okay. It's... we've had a good look at this game. We more or less know how it works. I like the idea of it. Uh, the idea of finely tuned boss boss rushes aren't unusual. Uh, it reminds me of Fury, actually. But I think I have ultimately the same kind of... Uh, I'm not going to say complaint, necessarily. Uh, but it's usually where I fall off the bus of... I like progression systems. I like adventure. I love exp exploration. I like like seeing a bunch of different things. And so, while this actually is like a fairly fine-tuned boss rush of like, here's your, here's your exact ability set, there's not much to, there's not much variation, but you can master it, find out strategies, beat the boss that way, and then, you know, move on to the next challenge. I like the idea of that, but for me, yeah, I need that progression system, that, that exploration to kind of both have time to breathe and also just because I like finding interesting and cool builds in these games and yeah without that it's a little harder on me that said that's more of a me problem than a game problem uh it's just personal preference but like overall from what I did see it did seem fun you know all the bosses are quite different and quite challenging and you know maybe if I turned down the difficulty it'd be a little easier to just breeze through uh the fact that you're uh just a, a doofy rabbit mage as well. I'd like to try some of the other characters, but I probably won't. I don't have have the time, and I'm not really interested in fighting through the uh, the wolf boss and the slime boss again with different characters. Because, as far as I can tell, chances are you'd have to play through every boss rush with each of the different characters to get the full story, and that's real hard for me. Uh, maybe there's some variation. What we could do, let's do... Let's just do a really quick... I'm going to throw on novice mode. We're just going to skip all the plot. And let's just see if it... Uh, uh, okay, can I, can I skip? Okay, hold any key. Hold Y to skip. Okay, we're just going to skip the plot here. I just want to take a li look at Lionel as a different character and confirm that you'd still have to fight the wolf. Let's see, exit the tutorial. We'll find out the rest. It does seem like each character has like a, a fun amount of like different abilities to roll with, which is kind of cool. But let me guess, wolf? 
Was uh So might as well look. So slash thrust, holy projectile is attack three. So we're slightly different. Uh air slash downward thrust, crouch slash slash rising slash. Wow. So I have a range move. I have a charge. That should be interesting. And let me guess dog. Yep, it's dog. Anyway, sup dog. I'm going to aggress upon you as hard as possible. Well, I will give him credit. He's much more, like, immediately aggressive. Oh, okay, so we heal up. Man, this really does actually remind me of Fury. Yeah, plus one for no contact damage. Oh. I can't air dash. But you know what I can do? Violence. It does feel like Lord Snicklefritz is by far the uh, the harder character to roll with, if only because of speed. Okay, so he's gonna charge at me, isn't he? But that's okay, because I'm going to charge at him. Well, that was, <laughs> that was a little easier. Not having to wait for attacks to charge up is definitely helpful. But still. But yeah, I do appreciate that there are different characters to roll with, and they seem kind of fun. It's just you have to fight the same bosses every single time. But the experience really does change depending who you're rolling with, which is a plus. So yeah, if you like if you like uh, hack and slash, well, not hack and slash, I guess finely tuned boss rush type games, this actually would probably be pretty good. Play the edgelord. Okay, we can take a look at the edgelord. Uh, let's see. Oh, I see. So you can even switch. So we've beat two of the bosses. And we're at 12.5% probably. That means... There's 16 bosses in the game? I'm... I think? I mean, my quick math is a bit rough, but still. Okay. So he has... So hyper acrobatics. Probably that. In air, attack one. In air, attack two. Let's see, which one's attack three? Apparently hyper, hyper acrobatics is attack three. But that's just chuck a dagger. I'm not sure about the titles of some of these. Crouch and attack one. Okay, that that seems kind of fun. Let's just skip past some of these for a second. Yeah, so 16 to 17 bosses. That's not bad. It's probably doable within an afternoon if you wanted to. Harder if you want to do all of them. But it's probably a lot easier to... Dialogue is amusing. Okay. So what is the Omega Smitting move? Is that... Yeah, it's this. That's right. Dark Echo. I am an edgelord. Whee! Dialogue! It seems like he's losing his mind. I think I should have gone with Dark Echo. Okay. So we're just gonna zip past this. I love how cute he looks for somebody that's like... Role-playing as Hardcore Edge. 
Anyway, so I just want to check myself with the wolf real quick instead of reading a bunch of dialogue. Because... I just want to see how this character actually performs and compare it. That was a mistake, but that's fine. For we have Dark Echo. Wow, that doesn't do any damage. Wait for that stamina to come back. Well, I will give him credit, is a lot more effective. We do, not having that healing move might be a bit of an issue, but at the same time, I think that's, I think that's my fastest kill on one of these guys so far, so I don't know. Whee! Didn't really do a whole lot of damage to him. I almost feel like, this guy will be better against, like, the Slime slime King. Or not. Hard to say. Because, like, that Jump Slash certainly is way more effective against, uh... Wow. Okay. So Dark Echo takes some damage, comparatively. Well, that's okay. Yeah. Charming. And I really do like the variety in the gameplay on the characters. Because, like, they really do play wildly differently. <laughs> and magic sucks in this game. It's just more than... What the... Aha! So you finally understand. From now on, you shall be my personal pet. And your name shall be Oliver. Ha 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 ha! Together we shall ride to greatness. Onward to that tower, Oliver. What? Hold on. <laughs> I am the greatest. I am the strongest. I am the son of darkness itself. The bringer of death. Everyone will kneel before me. <laughs> so this is the place, huh? Not too shabby. This place looks like a great place to stay. I'll now make this my new home, and I shall call it the Tower. <laughs> I'm really a genius at naming things. Sometimes I amaze even myself. Right, Oliver? Now that that's out of the way, time to finally enter this place. Onward to greatness. <laughs> Oh my god, I should have been the edgelord from the start. I'm assuming we don't get to keep Oliver with us, but I want to see what happens to Oliver here before we before we end this episode off. Just out of sheer curiosity. It probably gets nuked by the slime. Whoa there, Oliver. We finally arrived. What's with this place? It looks so much bigger on the inside. But man, it sure stinks in here. I wonder if this is the toilet. <laughs> Let me guess, he kills Oliver and he goes on a vengeance kick? Or do we just play as Dark Echo? Who are you? Who am I? I am Dark Echo, the greatest being who ever lived. Who are you? You look like a giant snot. <laughs> Are you mocking me? What are you doing in my domain? Believe me, I don't want to stay here either. It smells really bad here. Seriously, how do you even live your life? Yes, the finest smell in the whole kingdom. I make sure to taste the soup every day. Wanna have a sip? Yuck. No thank you. That's just nasty. Why not? You dare decline my offer? I am King Francis Slimebound, and this is my kingdom of filth. Leave me now, or suffer my wrath. Well, if this is my, my this is my house now, so if you want to live in it, you should let me pass. <laughs> what is this nonsense? If you don't want to leave, I'll turn you into soup. Ew, that's gross. You're welcome to try. It's two against one. With Oliver at my side, we're invincible. <laughs> really now? How's this? <laughs> Oliver, no, come back. Darn it, now you've really done it. Prepare to be consumed by the void. I will turn you into soup. Okay. 
I might have to revise my original decision on this game. It seems pretty rad. I might have to play on casual mode, though. Because I, the gameplay on this is pretty dang fun. And there's definitely some like fun scum cheese that I can just roll here. Ah, uh, God, I actually got invested in this now. Because like the bunny lord was such a boring character compared to this nonsense. Ugh. Yeah, I think I'm gonna just lose here. Well, this is a successful strategy. Crouch and stab. And when that doesn't work, jump. Got him. Wow. The game shows little arrows for the projectiles that fall from the sky. Yeah, but they're not that easy to avoid, comparatively. Or more per se, I don't care enough to avoid them. Anyway. This is a fun game, but we're going to have to move on. Just because, like, I kind of suck at boss rush games. I can do them. Whoops. I meant to quit. Oh, yeah, there we go. And, uh, anyway. So, neat little game. I will play more if people really want me to. I'll probably turn the difficulty down just so I could, like, breeze through it a little bit more. And we'd probably just do Dark Echo. But we will have to see. Because this is a neat game. Uh, how can we get revenge for the loss of Oliver? We just killed the slime guy. I think that's, I think that's revenge enough. Uh, at least for me. Anyway, this is fun. This is a neat game, but we have more to check out. So for now, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.